Guys, I wanna share a conversation with you that I had last week. It's for all you Power BI admins out there. What's up guys, Adam Saxon, AKA Guy in a Cube. I'm so happy that you're here today. And today I wanna share a conversation with you that I had last week. I was pinged last week and I was asked, hey, can we figure out a way to see all of the Power BI users that have signed into the tenant or my organization? And I thought about it and I knew off the top of my head that from a PowerShell perspective, I could get a list of all the users that have a Power BI license. So let's start there. Let's take a look at my screen. And from a PowerShell perspective, I'm already logged in. And what you see here is I'm calling get-msol user. That's a function from the Azure Active Directory version one PowerShell commands. And I'm saying that I want all the users but I'm gonna filter that by whether or not they're licensed. So I wanna make sure they are licensed. And I wanna make sure that the licenses are part of, that they have an account SKU of either the Power BI Pro or the Power BI Standard. So Power BI Pro is for pro users and Power BI Standard are, is for free users. And then I'm actually just gonna get a list of their display name and then the licenses that they have. So this should come back, this should show me any user and each of those users should either have a Power BI free or a Power BI Pro license. So let's run this and see what we get. And there we go. So these are all the users with inside of my organization, Guy in a Cube. And you can see here that they have at least a Power BI Pro or a Power BI free. They may have more than that, uh, but they're gonna have at least one of those licenses as part of them. So this is a way that you can go get a list of users in your organization that have a Power BI Pro or a Power BI free license. You can do this from the Office 365 Admin Center too. There are ways in the active users list that you can actually filter by certain licenses and create views to get the same look. But I thought PowerShell may be more interested, especially if you're trying to do this from a scripting perspective. Uh, you could also output this to a CSV and then load it into some data warehouse. So it's a way that you can track from a data perspective because we like data, right? And so this tells us who has the licenses. What it doesn't tell us is who's actually signed in. So what can we do there? And what I shared is that we can, if we have an Azure Active Directory premium license inside of our organization, there are some reports that we get access to that we can go take a look at. So only one user in your organization needs a premium license to get access to these reports. And so let's jump over to our Azure Active Directory portal. So this is in the Azure portal, the old Azure portal. I got here from going to the Admin Center and then just selecting Azure Active Directory down under Admin Centers. And then within my tenant, I'm gonna go over to Reports. And then what I wanna look at there is there's a report towards the bottom under Integrated Applications that says Application Usage. So let's go ahead and select that. And this is defaulting me to the last 30 days. And what we see here is a list of applications and it'll show us the unique users, the total sign-ins. And you'll see right at the top there, I've got Microsoft Power BI. Down a little further, you also see Power BI Gateway. So that may be interesting to you as well. So let's go ahead and select Microsoft Power BI. And inside of that report, I can see the users in question and it's the number of sign-ins and when they last signed in. Take note right away that the number of users here, which is six, does not add up to the total number of users that have a license in my organization. So right away, I can do a diff and see that there are only six users that have actually signed into Power BI out of the total users that I have in my organization that have licenses. So there's a bunch of users that have never signed into Power BI. And so if I wanted to do something to actually communicate out to the people that are actually using the product, this is a way I could do that to filter down and say, look, these only I only need to talk to these six users because they're the ones that are really gonna be affected. One thing you'll notice here is that there's no way for you to download this data locally onto your system so that you can play with it, but there is a way you can do this from a PowerShell perspective. So let's jump over to my editor 
and there are some steps I need to do to get this running. I'll have a link down below that'll take you to some documentation where I got this script from. And so I had to create an application inside of Azure Active Directory that had permissions to this specific data. And when I run this, let me go ahead and run it. This is just gonna fetch that data and then it's pumping it out to a JSON file. If we go look at that JSON file, let's go and open with Notepad. And we can just see a lot of entries here. So this is gonna have everything from a sign-in activity for my organization. And in this, you'll see what the app name is, you'll see what the user is, the UPN, where they signed in from, all sorts of information here that you can then put into your own data warehouse and then mash that up and pull it into a report and then do activities based on that data. So again, a data-driven approach to see what kind of sign-ins are happening inside of your organization. Take a look at what's available here because there's more than just sign-in information. And so there's a lot of reports that you can get from the Azure Active Directory side that may be beneficial to you from an organization perspective. Again, a lot of these reports are only available through the graph if you're using the Azure Active Directory premium subscription. So you'll see that. Not all of the users need Azure Active Directory Premium because there's a lot of users that you see login data for here that all they have is a Power BI free license. So you'll see that activity as long as your account has the premium license available to it, you'll be able to get this data. So, all right, let me know if you have any questions down below about getting this type of information and using it from either an auditing perspective or triggering activities in your organization. Would love to hear that. Go ahead and leave that down below and let me know. I'll have links down below for the PowerShell script as well as some other items. And also there's gonna be an associated blog post with this as well, so you can check that out. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more great content. And as always, thank you so much for watching and keep being awesome.